Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the uh, D15 watt grill light from Sansi. Sansi sent me the new version of their 15 watt full spectrum grill light. I have the older version as well that they sent me. Just full disclosure, they sent this to me for free to do a review, but they retail for about $19.99 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a closer look at this, unbox it. Okay, so this is the um, the box. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it looks a lot, it's got a little plastic cover on the end, probably to fuse the light a little bit. It's very lightweight. This is the older version. Can I see it side by side? The little one's a lot bigger. Does not have a fusion cover. Get a quick weight of these real quick. The old Sansi light weighs 274 grams and uh, the new one only weighs 147 grams. So There's a huge reduction in weight on the new version. Looks like the newer one, it's a little more evenly distributed towards the center, whereas the older one is one uh, one uh, band in the middle. Looks like these are also smaller. I really like the how light it is. This one's fairly heavy. I remember this one had a very focused beam and I imagine this one's going to be a lot more diffused. Yeah, I've got some notes that I pulled off the product page. Uh, so it's an E26 base, of course. Sansi recommends hanging this between 12 and 39 inches above the plant. Coverage is supposed to be 3.6 square feet. They recommend 10 to 12 hours of time per day. It's full spectrum between 380 and 780 nanometers. Uh, distribution, it looks like it's heavy in the red. Color temperature is close to 5000 K. So it looks like a a white type of uh, grill light. Yeah, really impressed with the size on this. It looks like it would um, be a lot smaller profile than this heavier, uh, the older version. It weighs much less, almost half as much as uh, the older version. And it looks like uh, there's a better distribution of light and it's got this um, diffusion cap on the end. So it's probably a softer light on the plants and more spread out evenly. This one is um, pretty intense. And when you look at it, I mean, really, really focused beam, I guess what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead and plug this up, do a uh, power test and some basic uh, light readings. And we'll get this set up over the plant. Okay, so I've got it mounted on top of this grow tent. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up into the kilowatt. See how many watts it's using. So we're getting 15.1, kind of fluctuating between 15 and 15.1, which is great because it's um, advertised as a 15 watt grow light. That's how that looks. Seems to be illuminating the tent very well. This has a much um, softer cast than the previous 15 watt version, which had a harsher, kind of sharper, more focused beam, which worked great too, but I think this is a little more diffused, which may be a little easier on the plants. Okay, so what I'm going to grow under this as a test is uh, some succulents that Kingstar sent me. And these, he sent me some cuttings, and basically th this is kind of a mix of, from the ones he gave me that I grew out a little bit, a mix of cuttings and transplants, so kind of, kind of a few different kinds mixed together. So I think this would be a good test for this light. At this distance, it's about 150 ppfd. So if you bring it up to, um, you know, within four inches, it's 1290, 1300. So down to about 10 inches, it's around 500 ppfd. And then it drops off to around 300 at about 12 inches. It drops off pretty significantly going out to the sides fairly even though it's soft diffuse it's still fairly fairly focused beam so the outer perimeter here it's around just under 100 150 ish 160 and then about uh, a little under 100 up to that edge yeah so let this run for a few weeks and then i'll post an update show how they look i just used some um, store-bought miracle grow um, palm and citrus potting mix well draining mix um, supposed to be good for succulents and it's got some nutrients in it so i just use regular water so yeah so that's the sansi 15 watt the new version i was really impressed with the original version so we'll see how this one does and i'll post an update in about 30 days and show how these look please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and um hope you like that thank you for watching